just wear sunscreen when you go out there because I didn't do that this weekend and I got a situation going on. Katie and Karen. <laughs> Andrew, you're preaching to the choir. All right, let's take a look at what we saw earlier this morning. Had a little bit of cloud cover and yeah, you probably wanted the sunscreen because we saw a lot of sunshine all day long today. Beautiful through the morning and afternoon and we did start out pretty chilly. Clouds cleared away, but they didn't go very far. Notice right along the coastline clouds are still hanging around and in fact you go down near the mouth of the river and mostly cloudy skies. That's also where our showers are. So the clouds and rain not too far away and it won't take much to get them moving back northward and in fact that's going to start overnight tonight. Right now, though, beautiful looking out over CBD temperatures. 70s right now, dew points in the low 50s. We spent all day today in the 40s and 50s for our dew points, a dry, good feel air mass. Today's high only 73 degrees with an average high. We were below that at 75. And in fact, our morning low was not too far off of kind of the normals for today. We actually had some 40s on the North Shore to begin the morning. We are not going to be the cold tomorrow morning because temperatures at the moment in the 60s and 70s with dew points in the 40s and 50s. But dew points have already started increasing and will continue to do so overnight tonight. So our temperatures overnight are not going to be getting as cold. The reason is we're now starting to pick up more of a southerly wind and a southerly or southeasterly wind is going to be with us throughout the day tomorrow. Not a particularly strong wind, but enough of that moisture surging back into the area to start increasing temperatures and humidity. Our local expert forecast takes us up to tick fall where temperatures will be in the low 80s tomorrow with a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not everyone's going to see the rainfall, but our rain chances at around 40%. Those will be a little bit higher by Wednesday. What's going to be happening is this is all ahead of a warm front, which is down to our south, and that warm front is going to start moving toward us during the night and into tomorrow, moving back north of us sometime during the day tomorrow and some scattered showers more more humid, warmer, not as comfortable a day. That's going to continue on into Wednesday. Then here comes a cold front. This one, a much stronger front. And much of our rainfall will be right along and ahead of the front with maybe some lingering showers behind it. But as we get into the latter part of Wednesday and into Thursday, especially chilly air is moving in and that chilly air mass is going to take us through the rest of the week and kind of over uh, lap into Easter weekend. Also on Wednesday, when we watch that front move through at the moment, we are under a low end risk for maybe an isolated strong to severe storm. At the moment, the greatest threat looks to be from either high winds or maybe some hail. Tornadoes at the moment really don't look to be on the, the table at the moment. Not only are we looking at the rain chances increasing, our cooler air mass is going to be moving in because this is going to be a much deeper upper trough that's going to be pushing this cold front on through. And in fact, we may be looking at parts of the nation, including much of the southeast for some freezing temperatures as we head toward the end of the week, especially by Thursday morning and fr excuse me, Friday morning. We are looking at some of the coldest air we have seen in quite a while and maybe some freezing temperatures on the North Shore and it wouldn't be extreme. On average, the last freeze in Slidell is March 3rd. Hammond, it's March 9th, so we have gotten past the average last freeze. However, the latest we've had freezes at both locations is in early to mid April. So that certainly wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities to perhaps see some freezing temperatures primarily on Friday morning. That does look to be the coldest of the morning tonight, though, not talking about freezing temperatures, clouds increasing and milder will be in the 50s and 60s tomorrow. Not nearly as nice of a day, more clouds, 40% chance of rainfall and a high of about 80 degrees. The seven day forecast, our temperatures stay in the 80s for the next couple of days, a wetter day on Wednesday with those storms at the cold front, then temperatures dropping. We're in the 40s to start the morning Thursday, Friday, 30s and 40s. And again, some locations north of the lake could be near freezing. 62 degrees are high. We will start warming up by Saturday and for Easter Sunday, but overall still very nice. Little warmer, little more humid by Sunday and next Monday. All right, Chris, thank you.